of the week is, of course, John Stewart. Great guest star yeah. for Raw or greatest guest star for Raw? Greatest. Your thoughts, Mad Mike. I'm going to say one of the greatest. Okay. One of the greatest. Bob Barker is still very high up for me. <laughs> yes. Yes. Bob Barker is still really high up there, if not for his interaction so, with So, Jerk. um, well, that's not Mike. There he is. So, when you go with Bob Barker, obviously we did the, we need to riff on the thing that he does. We had a version of The Price is Right on Raw with the wrestlers with the funny name tags, even though they weren't wearing shirts. How did they put them on? I don't know. Sorry, Chris Jericho. Your peck has a hole in it. I don't know. But anyways, but I think as far as that goes, this was the best representation of the thing the person does outside of that appearance. Well, it, it also helps that John Stewart is an actual wrestling fan. Oh, yeah. I think I think that's what made the appearance so good more than anything, more than like the, the actual like segment or anything was just you could tell that he, not only did he like wrestling, but he watched it. Mm-hmm. He understood it. Uh, you know, he, you know, had an understanding of the integral storylines that were going on with Seth Rollins, and, and and that came across. And he cut probably one of the better promos of anybody like in the past year. He brought something up that happened what eight months ago. Yeah, yeah. Which, which you that he was at personally, like he was yeah. at Money in the Bank. Like I think that's why Mike Tyson works too, because mm-hmm. Mike Tyson is a fan of wrestling, and you can tell just by the way he interacts with people. Right. Just don't let him talk on the mic. Uh, you know who they should get on Raw now? Melissa Joan Hart. Oh, absolutely. Wait, what do you We can do Melissa explains the Raw. But and, but that's the thing. I think there is an appeal to getting people that are actually the clearly fans of WWE on the show. It, it adds an appeal other than just a celebrity. And I think it adds a lasting appeal. I mean, I don't know if anybody, you know, when... I don't know, like Kathy and Hoda, you know, from the Today <laughs> Show. I don't think that any of their audience cross with WWE's no. audience. You know, very interesting. I'm sure, so, so, I'm sure that was the case with the Daily so Show. I watched um, WrestleMania 7 today, uh, most of WrestleMania 7 today, and they had a section. There, They had their celebrity panel. They had, uh, I think, Marla Maples, uh, Regis, and Alex Trebek. And there was a port, and they kept, and they kept putting them. In situations it, like these bad interview situations in the back, where they yeah. like it was a practical joke or something, but it really worked. Regis is always really great with anything that he does, to be honest. And he, I think he's, I don't know if he's a wrestling fan, but he's a fan of what wrestling is and kind of understands it to a certain I point. I think he is a fan of wrestling because didn't he have um, somebody on, his, on their show? He's always and having like, somebody he got on his show. slammed and got hurt or something? <laughs> yeah, if I'm not surprised. <laughs> yeah, oh no, yeah, he did something like, do a wrestling move on, on me. Yeah. And they're like, and I think it was a little too close to the kayfabe area and they kind of had to hurt him. <laughs> I bloodied him. I yeah. can't remember who it was. But that's also like why people like, I think like Seth Green are really good when mm-hmm. they're guest hosting is because you can tell that they actually Hugh watch Jackman. the show. Hugh Jackman for sure. For Hugh sure. Jackman's another one, yeah. But, I mean, but there's also some people that, that they bring on and they're not good, like maybe they're an actor or something, but they don't know what to do in that setting because it's a whole Jeremy different Jeremy Piven. Jeremy Piven. Yeah, he was a little awkward, Jeremy wasn't he? Jeremy Piven. I like Jeremy Piven a whole lot, but he did not know what to do. It's on different, Raw. especially someone like that. Like, you take a Hugh Jackman um, and, you know, it was some conversation I actually had on uh, the newly renamed Basic Sorgonomics show at Sorgatron.com was about pro wrestling. I talk about our friends at Headlocked and, and kind of that aspect of a, the theater people versus pro wrestlers. Um, and I think big Tony award winning Hugh Jackman, you know, he's more than just Wolverine. He's a stage guy, right? He's very mm-hmm. passionately a stage guy, uh, Broadway, whatever. Uh, I, I don't think that that's too much to walk out there in front of 15,000 people you know, in a live situation on TV and do what he did. And also I think that the whole like getting actors again, even like in the case of John Stewart, getting comedians who understand not just stage presence, but how to deliver lines and, and, right. and, and be witty and be, you know, you know, right. Right. Giving, giving those, getting those speaking roles. We say all the, a lot of people say all the time that, you know, what would it be like if you know, they took wrestlers and actually took, gave them acting classes and, and, and how that would aid in their work. I, I think that's just sort of one of those cases where that taking the what they know from that realm and bringing it to pro wrestling fits perfectly. Right. Exactly. 
Um, Great. Not, not all comedians are hits, though, because yeah. we did have Dennis Miller and Larry the Cable Guy. Uh, my guy, not, my not guy exactly did, the best my, example. I did say comedians. Uh, well, Larry, <laughs> and Larry the Cable Guy is a different... Like he's a different brand of comedian, and I think for what he did, like he went all in for it. I think they were just bad ideas, and I can't. Really I don't know. Ideas. I don't know if we well, can I mean, really. He does stand up. Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, uh, of course he does. But but people know him as this bumbling character from the movies and stuff more. And it's like, how silly are you going to come out and do what John Stewart did? Right? John Stewart's a comedian, mm-hmm. but he's also. A social commentator. Social and, commentator, you're right. And and he was able to do that. That was the greatest thing. And I think you guys were talking about this on Raw Wrap Up, how it, it was like he came out and when one of those interviews when he's gonna get the guy, mm-hmm. you know, that's definitely yeah. opposed to him. Like that's yeah, Riz, the style. Riz was bringing that up last night. That that it was was a great point. It, that was the style because you felt like he was getting a Bill O'Reilly, he was getting that senator, he was getting whoever. You guys even mentioned Bill O'Reilly on the show. Um, like that, and, that's what made it special and it made it feel real. You know, I'm talking about the mayhem minute this morning about how Twitter is making us wonder if this stuff is real or not anymore. And, um, and, and I think that tricks you for a minute when you get somebody like John Stewart doing what he did last night. And even and, like the and, back or go ahead, Mike. Oh no, I was going to say, and then plus I've been to a taping of the daily show. Yeah. It's one take. Yeah. Like they don't retake anything. So it's essentially performing for a live crowd. Every right. night for the past 16, 17 years, however long he's been doing it. And if right. you're, and if you're like, a they comedian, don't reshoot anything. And if you're a comedian, I'll go you aim in here in a sec. If you're a comedian, um, you know how to fly without a net and have probably had some bad nights at it too, uh, to get to wherever you were of any significance, mm-hmm. like a John Stewart, even a Larry Cable guy, to be honest. Um, you got a bomb to be good. What? Mm-hmm. You got a bomb to be good. You got a bomb to be good. And actually, wrestlers <laughs> can learn from that too. Uh, aim in, I'm sorry. Oh, no. I was, I was also going to mention that I also really love like, the backstage, like, part he did with Renee at the end because it just seemed <laughs> so natural like it was it was it didn't come off as like him like reading off lines and no, that makes sense no like, like it was very much like and I think that's one of the things that's one of the biggest killers sometimes is, is sometimes stuff especially in WWE comes off as so scripted what well, you could tell he was way? interrupting it what do you say about the hallways especially yeah, yeah, unprotected. Unprotected. The, hallway thing. <laughs> the big unprotected hallway yeah it was good. Which good like, I, I got to like, what is this supposed to be protected with? Like, are we? Do we have security? You know, is there a good version of J and J security at that point? I, I'm not sure. Or is Sandra the the seamstress or whatever? Is that <laughs> any kind of protection they need? I love that we all <laughs> have a to be relationship. Fair, I wouldn't fuck with Sandra the seamstress. That's true. Yeah, she, she not for a second. She is the real, <laughs> as they would say. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, um, on that note, uh, let us know what you think of John Stewart. Other guests, we got Wiz Khalifa coming up here in Pittsburgh. I'll be there. Um, so once again, guys, if you cover the raw wrap up, sorry about that. Um, oh, yes. Yes. That's so do your for job for you again. I should never let Cena spit with Wiz Khalifa. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so why shouldn't you do the wrap up live from? Console Arena? Because because well, one, no cameras, and two, I'll be watching the dark match. And uh, three, I'm oh, yeah, going to be point. walking around. I'm sure my phone will be dead by then. But um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we can do something. Maybe like walking back to the train or whatever uh, I decide to do next Monday. Uh, maybe I can join you guys. We'll, we'll figure something out. But I can't initiate it, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, speaking of initiations, why don't you initiate your collection, your closet with some uh, pro wrestling tees, guys? Go to pro wrestling I have a tees. a lot of t-shirts. Yeah. Bobby, you have a lot of t-shirts, but do you have the coolest shirts of them all? I do. I have one of them. You have one of them? What do you have? I have the Alexander Cars Designed Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com shirt. That's right. Style of the Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Mm -hmm. Uh, The great stuff uh, going on over there. Uh, ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. They're supporting podcasts like us by letting us have a t-shirt shop up there. Uh, Promoters, you know, promotions, independent promotions, independent wrestlers. Uh, Gold still has a shop up there. So many bigger stars like CM Punk getting their Get their bit over there. Hey, you can't find CM Punk merch on WWEshop.com anymore. That's for certain. Even if from the link from his alumni page, actually, which is strange. Uh, but Chris Jericho just got a shirt shop. Too. Chris Jericho just got got one up there. Uh, a lot of stuff for talk is Jericho going on. He's got a DVD. He's got a road to road 
on the road with Jericho DVD that came out, which I wonder is that house show stuff that he did, did if they did a DVD for that. I'm, I'm curious to see what that's about. Um, but you can go on there. They got a lot of great stuff. You can support friends of the show like Greg Iron, like DJ Z, or you can burr, 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 burr. Thank, burr, burr, burr. You, thank you, or Cole Cabana, or 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 anything like that. Or uh, let's see what we got here. Who's a friend of the show here that we've talked to? Chris Jericho, Christopher Daniels. We just posted uh, the uh, Chikara. Uh, King of Trios. When we talked, we talked with Chris Daniels, um, uh, Christopher Daniels, mm-hmm. a, a, a bit ago, and he's got he some stuff on, on comic, here. Man. What's that? He was just on comic book, man. He was just on comic book. But he's got a lot of comic book yeah. stuff going on, actually. He's mm-hmm. got. Oh, this is for you, Mike. We got some um, Christopher Daniels Angel of <laughs> Shield going on here. A lot of <laughs> oh, fun I stuff. Want that shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you know you want it. ProWrestlingTees.com slash WMS. Start there. Throw one of ours in there. Support this show. And then support somebody like, awesome like Christopher Daniels there uh, with stuff like that. Uh, so let's go into topic two of the day. The 